Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I know it's been a while since we've done this sort of video. It's been some time, but yeah, I'm back and I just want to play with some makeup. I've got some new products in that have been sitting here for about three, four weeks now. So we're just going to get right into it. I see we have some new subscribers as well. So I want to welcome you all. And if you're not already subscribed, please do join us. Click the subscribe button down below. Do give this video a thumbs up as well. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay so the first thing I want to do is primer face. Obviously this primer is not new, it's the Milk Hydro Group primer so I'm just going to quickly speed through that part of the video. Okay so I'm literally just going to be rummaging through this box and basically just pick out some things that I want to try out. So the first one is, okay this is not new in the market, it's new for me. It's been out for a while. I have heard some good things about it and I was really looking forward to trying it if I can get it out of the package. But it's this Soap Styler by Makeup Revolution. There are loads of different types out there, but this was like the cheapest that I could find other than going on um, AliExpress, which would take like months to arrive. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's just rose gold packaging and inside, Gosh, I can't seem to get this open. Okay, there we go. Okay, so looks interesting. But this is what it looks like inside and it comes with this brush as well for your eyebrows. I usually do start with my eyebrows before I do my base. Majority of the times I just don't show it on camera, but we're gonna go right ahead and use this. Probably use my spoolie to brush up my eyebrows first. And my eyebrows do take a very very long time to grow i haven't threaded my brows in psh, over a year it's been over a year that's how long my brows take to grow they are really really sparse as you can tell so yeah usually i just start off with putting like concealer underneath my brows first but i want to do this first and then obviously move on to the base so you're supposed to dampen the applicator and then go in to the product i'm not sure what to expect either but yeah let's just see what it looks like been really loving the look of these like really thick feathery sort of brows and yeah i just thought i'd give this a try and see oh wow can you guys see that oh my gosh look at the difference please that's just a little bit because I, I know a lot of people have actually been paying for brow laminations which is obviously a lot more expensive and I'm not trying to do that. Some people have actually been putting hair relaxer in their brows to get them like this um, and also got to be glue which I do have but nah I don't know. I, I don't know how my skin would react to got to be glue so I just thought you know what I'm gonna buy this. Might need to trim my eyebrows because Blimey, okay. <laughs> okay, it's safe to say that I went a little bit overboard because right now the brows aren't moving, they are in place. Okay, so I've just put concealer underneath my eyes and what a difference it has made. I feel like I've just got my brows freshly done, especially with this wax as well. So I'm actually really, really impressed with what it's already done to my eyebrows. So yeah, I'm actually happy with it so now i'm gonna move on to my foundation i'm gonna try out the new Too faced born this way foundation this is the matte one um and i chose the shade chai because that's the one that i was using with the other foundation but yeah i haven't tried out the shade i haven't swatched it or anything so i have no clue of what the color is going to look like on me because i have seen like a bit of video saying that the shades are not exactly the same so yeah, I'm not sure what to expect, but hopefully it's all good. So I'm just going to pump two pumps on the back of my hand. This is what it's looking like. Obviously, it's not summer anymore, so let's just see how it looks on my chest. Because that's pretty much the match that I go for. So looks a little bit darker already. Okay, it's not an exact match, but I can definitely get away with it. I think especially when the sun's out, this will be like a perfect match for me to go for, but yeah i think we can make it work so looking forward to seeing how it's gonna apply haven't used matte foundations like that the way i use my other foundations in terms of hydration um dewiness and stuff like that but i've heard great things about this foundation so let's see what it looks like i also haven't 
put new caledonia around my mouth which i usually do because i want to see how well this foundation covers up like hyperpigmentation etc etc so far it really looks beautiful on my skin though and i think because of the way i've applied it now in terms of like just putting the sponge letting the product soak into the sponge i think it's just allowed it to blend out really flawlessly um and not as much coverage if that makes sense because usually if you check my previous videos i will usually apply the foundation on my face and then blend it out and i think that actually gives more coverage because i'm applying more product than what i realize if that makes sense but looks really really good really really good i was gonna try out the nars one as well but i did read a lot of reviews saying that it's like super super matte um and more matte than this and yeah considering i'm not like really into matte foundations like that i just thought there was no point in me getting it so yeah the shade is a little bit deeper but yeah just gonna have to make it work literally you can see that it's done a pretty good job with some of those marks on my forehead i presume this could be built up so i would say at the moment my application is a medium coverage um and i think it can be built up but i do not want to do that so yeah i'm not actually going to build this up sorry for all of those that are like full 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 coverage girls but actually like the coverage that it's giving me at the moment i am going to put a little bit more around my mouth because i can see some of my hyperpigmentation through there okay what do you guys think i absolutely love the way this is looking on my skin it doesn't actually feel like i'm wearing a matte foundation i can still see some of that glow coming through obviously the lights do play a part in that but the way i prep my skin as well before i do my foundation it does give me like a really dewy radiant look and obviously the primer that i've used um which is the milk hydro grip primer that does give you sort of like a like a dewy not dewy but it's i wouldn't say it mattifies your skin it does give you like a, a nice glow so the primer that i use also plays a part but at the moment i'm absolutely loving the way this foundation looks on my skin it doesn't feel tight it doesn't feel dry it feels quite light to be honest and i think also because of the way i applied it usually i never apply my foundation in this way where you put it on the back of your hands and then you do that i never usually apply my foundation like that i usually put a little bit on my face and then go in with my sponge or just use a brush but i just wanted to see how it would look when i apply it this way and i really really like the way it's looking so just gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer you guys can see the foundation's looking pretty pretty good we're gonna move on to the eyes now and i've got this new palette from makeup not makeup revolution but this new palette from beauty bay this is the magic palette which came out i don't even know if, not too long ago it's one of their new launches um i don't know if this mirror can go back at all but this is what the palette looks like and it comes with a mirror as well and honestly the camera is not doing it any justice because these shades look absolutely stunning in person it looks so much better than any pictures i have no clue of what colors i want to go in i don't know if i want to do a purple or a blue okay i think i'm gonna do a purple look today so i'm just gonna quickly prime my eyelid okay so eyelids prepped um i also got these brushes these are makeup brushes by makeup by tammy's collection if you don't know who that is tammy clark she is a fellow youtuber here and she recently came out with her own um makeup line and i bought some of her brushes as well a while back as well as these ma these makeup products i'm gonna use these brushes in this video today okay i'm gonna start off with this color at the top here which is called amulet in my crease let's see what that looks like okay yep yeah, that's exactly what i wanted just to help the other shades blend a little bit better because i am going to go in with like a more lighter shade on top of that okay the next shade i want to go in with is enchanted which is this lilac shade at the top here it's like a really pale lilac shade um and i want to put that 
pretty much on top of that shade that I've just put on there. Yeah, it is really, really pale. So, gosh, that is, I'm not used to these kind of shades, to be honest. Not in the crease anyway. On the lid, yep, but not in the crease. But let's just go ahead because we've already done it anyway. Don't know what to say about that one. But I'm just going to go back into that first shade that I used, which was called Amulet which was sort of like the camel brown and just put that on top of that underneath my brows okay so the next shade I want to go in with is called sorcery which is this purple shade here I don't like the names of these eyeshadows I do not like them so I'm going to put this in my crease here that's a nice shade this palette was £15 by the way and I have to say these eyeshadows even though there is they are quite dusty they are really pigmented so I'm pleasantly surprised with that just gonna keep blending that in the crease there and I'm gonna go back into that lilac shade later just to blend that out a little bit so far I do like the way this shade is looking though so I'm just going back with that first shade enchanted I only added very very little on the brush just to blend that out because I am going to go back into that purple shade and just deepen up that crease ever so slightly. Because I have hooded eyes I do have to do a little bit more just to make sure my eyeshadows are showing even when my eyes are opened. So the last shade, the last shade, not necessarily the last shade but um, I need a bullet brush. The next shade I'm going to use is this ugly name but nice purple this shade here which is called voodoo i'm actually going to stop saying the names i'm going to use this purple shade here just ever so slightly deepen up the outer corner of my eye okay yeah that looks really good that looks really good just to add a little bit more depth right in that corner there i'm not going to bring it out too far here just going to keep it right there in that corner for my lid i want to use this absolute gorgeous 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 purple shade this shade is called charmed it's this lovely stunning purple shade here okay so don't feel like it does a great job just with the brush on its own so i'm actually gonna continue to apply it with the brush it is a beautiful shade though and then go back with my finger just to add a bit more pigmentation but i really 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 like this purple shade oh look at that that looks stunning right let's try with my finger now oh yes that's exactly what i wanted oh my days this purple is absolutely stunning 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 okay so we are all purpled out i did get some fallout from that purple eyeshadow so i'm just gonna quickly wipe it away the eyeshadows were pigmented but they were quite powdery so yeah especially that shimmer shade even though it was gorgeous on the eyes looks really good but yeah you can see my face is a little bit sparkly let me see if i can just remove some of that for my foundation i've got this which is not new in the market but it's new for me it's the nars soft matte concealer which is in the shade caramel this is what it looks like i really hope that it looks good on my skin don't know but from the pot it seems like it will it's got a nice golden undertone so yeah what, usually what I like to do with this is actually apply some on the back of my hand to warm up the product. I do have a little bit of dark circles under my eyes so I want to put the e.l.f. camo concealer, this is the hydrating one in the shade Deep Chestnut, just a little bit. just going to use a fluffy brush. I guess this concealer does spread pretty well. So whilst we wait for that concealer to warm up I'm going to move on to my contour slash bronzer this is again not new in the market but it's new for me it is the revolution fast base foundation stick this was actually really popular when it first came out but i'm not really into like 
foundation sticks so I thought I would get it like as a contour slash bronzer shade does look pretty pretty good yeah you do get a decent amount in there considering what I'm going to use it for but oh my gosh did I get the wrong shade it is what it is it is what it is I actually have to put quite a bit for that to come up it is looking quite shiny so it does appear to be more so like a dewy product maybe like a dewy foundation I don't know how it's going to look start off with my forehead just using the same sponge that I used for my foundation do you like the texture of that? it does look pretty good has warmed me up ever so slightly I was actually considering getting F16 but F16 is a lot warmer and I didn't want to be that warm especially during winter so I chose not to go for it. Very much glowing and obviously the foundation is a matte foundation so I think it actually does play out well with this concealer, I mean this foundation stick. Okay so whilst that's doing what it's doing I'm just going to quickly apply that concealer to my face because I want to let it sit under my eyes a little bit so I'm going to go in and apply that concealer. Okay that is right oh my gosh probably should have got a shade darker it's probably good that i actually went in with chestnut because that is actually quite light i usually don't go in with this shade as like a main <gasps> i can't believe that all this time i didn't have my mic plugged in i'm so sorry if it doesn't sound great for that short period of the video but you can hear me much clearly now so yeah so as i was saying i don't usually go in with like this bright of a highlight as my main shade so i'm actually happy that i went in with chestnut on top i mean underneath sorry which was the elf shade because this is actually a lot lighter than what i would usually go for but considering we do have like quite a nice bronze and obviously the foundation shade is deeper than what i would usually go for it might work but let's just see let's just see soft matte is definitely correct in the name of this found um concealer because it is very easy to blend out I feel like that's blended out really really well so i'm actually pretty impressed with this concealer i'm pretty happy with how it's looking overall my face is looking nice and hydrated slash glowy luminous but the foundation underneath because it is matte i think it will hold all of these other luminous products really well um even under my eyes it is not looking as matte i think because we did go in with that hydrating concealer first and obviously i did go in with an eye cream as well but yeah okay so i've just set my under eyes quickly with the laura mercier honey powder i'm not usually a baker but you know what i want to try it today so i'm gonna use this powder puff that i got from amazon it was really cheap but it should do the job i'm gonna use my laura mercier original translucent powder the powder puff looks like it doesn't apply that much but it actually does but you know what let's just see how it looks after okay so we are looking quite bright but we're gonna bronze um i'm gonna bronze my nose as well because obviously that powder has kind of removed some of that definition that i wanted to add there and i think my skin looks pretty nice and smooth at the moment we're gonna move on to bronzer now if you've been watching my videos you know that i i love a good bronze and i don't even know how many bronzers i have in my collection now but um I just love bronzer so i've got this new bronzer from iheart revolution uh this is i believe one of their coffee bronzers it's in their coffee collection it's got this little design which is what you usually would get in your coffees this is in the shade macchiato and this is what it looks like i actually like the undertone of this so i'm really looking forward to using that oh my gosh okay so you guys know i'm really heavy-handed i just went twice and it has actually kicked back quite a lot so i think this is going to be quite pigmented so i'm going to tap off a lot of that let's go oh gosh that looks amazing i know because of that bronzer that we used underneath you probably can't see like 
that much but i can definitely tell so you guys can see that's with the foundation stick only and this is with the bronzer which looks stunning and i've used a nice big fluffy brush for that oh my gosh i love it that looks absolutely stunning i'm just gonna quickly swatch this on the back of my hand so you guys can see like what it looks like wow that is beautiful ignore the concealer on the back of my hand but this right here is the bronzer shade macchiato and it looks absolutely stunning okay i can't find my fenty beauty matchstick to line my lips the way i usually do so i'm just going to use this liquid lipstick which is from colored rain in the shade whatever it is deep enough to do the same thing just to kind of give it a bit more definition It will do the job even though I do prefer my Fenty Beauty matchstick in Espresso, but it is what it is. I'm going to use this new lipstick. This is from LA Girl. I was expecting it to be a little bit more on the peachy side. So I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not. It doesn't really go with this eye look the way I want it to. So I'm just going to add my lip gloss by MAC. This is in the shade Oh Baby. Just to go back to the eyebrows, obviously they are looking pretty good. They are very, very, very set. But I do want to tell you guys about this eyebrow pencil. I bought it from AliExpress for, I think it was like £2.50. And it was so good that I actually went back to get more. And this is what I've been using to do my eyebrows, which I really like. So that's a quick plug right there. But I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows, mascara, etc. And then I will come back. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. And I have to say, I actually am really happy with the way it came out. I had a lot of fun playing with this makeup and this eyeshadow. These are the sort of videos that I like doing. Just testing out products, playing with makeup and engaging with you guys. So, yeah, for me, I'm really happy with it. Um, some of the products I wasn't too mad about. But overall, I really like it. This eyeshadow palette, £15 absolute bargain i love it the quality of these eyeshadows these sort of really light shades pastel that's it these sort of pastel shades definitely not for me not what i'm into so i think i might stay away from that in the future but it does kind of work obviously having to add that purple shade on top really helped it out but overall i really like the eyeshadow i like the way the look came out so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's been a while since we've done a makeup video like this but i really hope you guys enjoyed it because i enjoyed it too so please do give it a thumbs up if you did leave your thoughts down below the Too faced foundation absolutely love it hands down the shade at first i was a bit like hmm because obviously i did pick chai which is what i am in the original foundation shade shade but i like the way it's come out obviously with the highlighter as well even though it was a little bit lighter than what i usually go for it did balance it out and it did work because i usually do match my complexion to my chest because obviously my face is darker than my chest if you don't already know but i think it worked out really well and even though i did bake i don't feel like my under eyes are dry they're just really really smooth let me know what your thoughts are down below and of course i hope that i will see you all in my next one bye